near. The vermin still pester us. Devour them. As you say, my brother. Grunteed is absorbing Jode's core. As long as the moons remain alive...
Insect. me. 
my magic protect you? Sus! Chi! Me! Finish the ritual. John and Jod, hear me. The power, it belongs to me. Separate and resume your eternal dance. Now, my power, you the horn! You did it, Amir. You ended the eclipse. But that means... Be denied. We are trapped, yes. But Mulamir is dead, and Cal Grontid has been defeated. Oh, hello! You always find things in the last place you know. Calgronti, I wonder. I'm actually pleased to see you, Cadwell. Come, Chimera. Your people await their queen. Thank you, my friends, for everything. Queen Chimera, have you been injured? I am fine, just tired. But look, the moons are no longer aligned. Tell me, tell me about the trip. The Uraxians, what is the state of our forces? Our scouts tell us that most of the Uraxians and dragons fled when the moons parted. Our own troops have not returned, but the main has sent an envoy. An envoy from the main? Hmm. If you'll excuse me, I have other business to attend to. We did it, Five Claw! We put the moons back in motion and defeated both Mulanir and Kelgrontid. Just being on the plane of Jode clarified the memories I inherited at the Shadow Dance Temple. I saw the ritual in my mind and performed the actions. Oh, too bad the Dragonhorn did not survive. He did grow larger with every infusion of power he absorbed. But the horn dislodged him from Jode's core, which allowed me to finish the ritual and end the eclipse. After that... A concern for another day, yes? I cannot be named queen without the main's blessing. That, however, is my worry. For now, you should rest. We must honor our fallen, and learn the fate of our troops at the Moon Gate. And after that, we will celebrate a new dawn for elsewhere. We have accomplished much, my friend. We overthrew the tyrant, Euraxia Tarn, defeated Zumag Fum, and the betrayer, even killed at least two dragons and made the moons move in the sky. If only I could shake this sense of impending doom. Nothing specific. Not really. I guess this sense of worry will stay with me until I know the fate of Garashri, Zamarak, even Prefect Kalo. That is just it. 
I have no idea. I appreciate your assistance, my friend. Far, Far from it. But without Calgrontid and Mulamnir to lead them, they are solitary beasts without a grand plan. There is little difference between myth and history for the Khajiit Five Claw. Whether Euraxia discovered the Kunzari stories and that led them to the betrayer's head, or Zumog Fum reanimated the head and then learned the tales, who can say? It's you. Good to see you're still among the living. I suppose you had a hand in getting the moons to finally pull apart? Hang on, I need to finish my report. I find that it's best to write it all down while it's still fresh in my mind. It's all in my report. Our troops held their ground and fought bravely. It was crucial to our survival. When the moons separated, the dragons broke ranks. The ones that survived Zamorak's charge lost what remained of their courage when the dragons abandoned the field of battle. They scattered like sand roaches and ran in all directions. We still have a lot to do to heal the scars left by Euraxia and her mercenaries, if that's what they need. But the Cygnus Irregulars are mostly military engineers, scouts, and trainers. We have a lot more to offer a kingdom that needs to be rebuilt than just blades and shields. It's good to see you, Five Claw. We only just returned and I have yet to report to the Queen. Kamira is all right, isn't she? After I was caught in that dragon blast, Zamarak tended to my wounds and took command of the soldiers defending the upper ridge. I know that I am still alive and grateful to be back in Rimen. There are those among the troops who need the healers more than I. But... Perhaps a few hours in the soothing springs will restore my strength. Zamarak is happy to see you, friend. After the dragons entered the moon gate and you followed, this one worried that all was lost. Just what you would expect. We held our ground against the swarming Euraxians and their necromancers. Between the Kajiti militia and the Cygnus irregulars, we held them off. When the moon separated, the Euraxians broke off their attack and scattered to the four winds. Zamarak doesn't know for certain. We faced mostly the Euraxians on the upper ridge. Prefect Kalo commanded the Ballisti, so he could tell you more. Zamarak hopes to serve as Queen Kamira's claw, and defend the throne as he was trained to do. Outsider, this one must speak with you. This one never expected to set foot in the capital of Anequina again. She hoped the militia would succeed, but she didn't believe they stood a chance against the usurper queen. Such wonders you have accomplished, and you have touched the face of Blessed Jode. This one is in awe. Despite all that, the main has sent me to determine what happens next. The healers? This one hopes the speaker wasn't gravely injured. As for your question, we must settle the matter of Anequina's succession. 
cut. Certainly. But anyone can make such a claim. To be accepted by the Kajiti, she must be recognized by the main. With Gareshri indisposed, will you stand with Kamira and vouch for her heritage? If Before you return to Kamira's side, this one requests an additional favor. The main gave Kashia a sealed letter for Abner Tharn, but he refuses to see me. I understand that you and he share a special bond. The specifics concern the Tharn alone, but this one believes it deals with the artificial eclipse and its impact on Kajiti society. The moons hold great sway over the Kajit born under them. What does this mean for those born during this eclipse? No matter what caused the eclipse, Joan and Jod joined as one. When this occurs naturally, one born then may become the next main. But during a false eclipse, succession becomes a concern. The, ma the main cannot be everywhere at once. That is what the speaker and the envoys are for. For now, the main's duties do not include an equina. No, you simply must stay for the ceremony. It's not every day we get to see a lovely cat receive a crown. Nonsense. And don't call me Abner. Besides, I think I've overstayed my welcome as far as Chimera is concerned. You and Cadwell, the two of you just can't leave well enough alone. No one was supposed to notice as I slipped out of Rimen. Of course, very little has gone according to plan since the Wrathstone Tablet set me on this path. I am neither sentimental nor enamored of pomp and circumstance. My time in elsewhere has shown me that I have limits. I am not the battle. I watched firsthand as a remarkable young woman became a leader. She's already a queen. Everything else is simply ceremony. I've lingered here long enough. You were an able enough traveling companion. I may call on you again sometime. Hmm, an intriguing question. Are Khajiit born under a forced eclipse next in line for the main? But this other bit confirms my suspicions. I must travel to Pelotine at once. We accomplished much, but I fear we haven't seen the last of Calgrontide. I must investigate reports coming from the south. You, however, have a queen to crown. Take Cadwell with you and make sure he behaves. And tell Kamira she did admirably. We saw no body, and there's no reason to suppose Calgrontide couldn't escape from Joe just as we did. I assure you, Cassia, my wounds are healing quite nicely. Nevertheless, this one has asked the Outlander to stand beside Kamira. Should I decide? To give the main's blessing. Garishri told me you found them. He filled me in on what happened during the battle at the Moon Gate. Dragons and necromancers, I understand. But politics and coronations, ah! They twist my tail, and they're... I am having many thoughts, but I know what I must do. Like Anequina and my other ancestors before me, I must stand tall and accept my responsibilities with humility and grace. The woman is inscrutable. I think she just wants to see me suffer until she acquiesces and places the crown on my head. Before the full weight of the kingdom falls upon my shoulders, I want to tell you something. I want you to know I appreciate everything you have done for elsewhere. For me, I do not believe we would have survived without your assistance.
the healers were able to do wonders, my friend. I almost feel like my old self again. I will secure Kamira's claim. You just stand beside her and support her. She values your presence, as do I. But where is Kamira? I expected you to bring her in. Who will confirm that Kamira is the daughter of King Hemakar and the rightful heir to the throne of Anequina? I will. As her guardian all these years, and as the speaker of the men, Kamira is the rightful heir. Come forth, daughter of Hemakar and Numara. Come forth, child of Enequina. Kamira, do you accept the duties of the throne? Will you lead this kingdom and protect its people? I do. And I will. Know then that the main accepts and recognizes your claim. All hail, Kamira, queen of Enequina. I promise to serve our people. And I offer thanks to all who helped achieve our recent victories. Finally, there is one I wish to honor. One whose assistance in these matters was unprecedented and invaluable. Five Claw, my comrade and friend, please approach the throne. Courageous Five Claw, I will make sure your deeds are sung by my people. They will be told from one generation to the next. Then say nothing, my friend. Just know that you helped deliver my homeland from tyranny. You helped me avenge my parents. You saved us from dragons and undead. We will never forget that. I... I will never forget that. You appeared when elsewhere needed you most. In our most desperate time of troubles, you helped restore our nation. You will always have a place here, my friend. And I want you to accept the greatest award I can offer. I name you Champion of Enequina. There are still dragons to kill and Euraxians to deal with, but now it is time to celebrate. Take a few moments, talk to our friends, then enjoy yourself, champion. You earned it. It is time for different adventures, Five Claw. I must lead my people and erase the memories of the Usurper Queen. May her name be blotted from the histories. Of course, I may find time to slip away and explore a ruin or two. <laughs> Just what you would expect. I'll... I name Champion of Anequina!